Welcome to Surf All Day A1A, and in this episode, we are going to explore the coast of the eastern side of the United States for surf spots. And today we're going to go to Maine. This is an area that is very cold, very wild, very rocky, and has a very diverse coastline. So let's scan out from our little home base in Florida and move on up the coastline. Now, the East Coast really has a a lot of variation. And Maine, you can see right off the bat, may have the most variation in the direction of its coastline. With all those little coves and bays and inlets, it has a rich coastline. And the other thing you might notice about Maine is that it has a very long coastline. Compare the length of Maine with the length of North Carolina, which is a massive coastline. And then you could compare it likewise with Florida. It really ranks up there with having any, you know, all of these states that have longer coastlines, far longer than New Jersey, for instance. Now, one thing I'd mention about Maine just to start off with is that, you know, it occurs within this somewhat bay area or this indentation in the coastline. And for those who know, that really presents little barrier to the waves that Maine will get when it is seriously blowing. But of course, they are blocked by Nova Scotia in some areas, but they are fully open to the eastern and south swell possibilities. So let's zoom right in and take a look. Now this is a reaction video as much as anything else. So we're going to turn on the satellite imagery. My surfing experience in Maine is very limited. So what I want to do is scan along the Maine coastline and just react to what I find. Now if you live in Maine, I would encourage you to leave some comments on this video and let us know, let me know where I found good spots and maybe where I missed some. I would love to know. Uh, and I am personally thinking of taking a trip up to Maine at some point soon. Okay, so let's look right in here. Now, you know, Google Maps is a pretty cool way to search for surf spots. And I've used it that way quite a bit. But, you know, it all depends on whether there's swell on that day. So what I try to look for is off the coast, is there anything blocking it? Well, out here we have the Isle of Shoals that blocks it, but not really. But I'm not really seeing any waves on the days that this aerial photo was taken. But, man, you can really see the bottom very easily. And you can tell that for sure there's a lot of structure, a lot of sandy beaches that lead into rocky shelves. Sea point. Interesting. Some of these you might think are a little bit too steep, but I always wonder what a novelty swell, what a small lined up swell will do when it reaches some of these corners like this. Sea Point Beach, all these little coves. And there you go. Wow, this is such a cool area of the coast. Wonderful to see a great white shark swimming along. Oh, look at that. Almost looks like a perfect little point break right in here. <laughs> now you can get a scale for this by how big the houses are. but it just looks like point after point after point. Now here we are. York Harbor. Beautiful little harbor. Wow. Little hotel right there, so there's a place you could stay. Beautiful York Harbor Beach. Now this is interesting with these ridges on the coast. You always wonder if there could be that kind of mountainous feature that goes out into the ocean and produces a point break type of feature like on these little points here, but 
kind of hard to tell. I almost get the vibe here that it is very deep right off the beach. Lobster Cove. Now this looks like it has a lot of possibility for a smaller day. Holy moly, look at that. That almost looks like trestles. Oh, you can almost see it peeling on the inside here. <laughs> is there somebody out? No, nobody out. Hmm, interesting. And then a sandy beach. Wow, doesn't that look neat? We'll soft top that all day. Pebbles Point. Interesting. Looks definitely like I, it would be a place to check. And you have Route 1A driving right along the beach here in York. So you have full visibility to all of this. Wow. Look at that. Plenty of places to sit, to stay. I don't see any surf shops, but that doesn't mean anything. That's maybe a good thing. Nice, long beach. Okay, look at this. We've got Nubble Lighthouse. World famous Nubble Lighthouse. Doesn't look like any surf possibilities out here, but you never know. I could be skipping right by the best spots, and I'd never know it. But what a, what a variety of things to explore already. And look at this. This is what you get in New England. You get this beach, which faces completely east. And then you get this beach, which, compl which faces completely north. You've got to wonder what this does on certain days. Don't you? Look, there's a public beach there, Short Sands Beach. Wow. That looks like a place you'd want to go snorkeling. Great snorkeling here, I'm sure, but just bone-chilling cold. Now, no swell, so really can't tell if there's possibility at these spots, but it does look like it's a deep drop-off here, so... Boy, wouldn't it be great if some of this is revealed? Oh, wow, look at this little boat basin. Isn't that incredible? Main Beach, okay. So where are we? Ogunquit. Okay, Ogunquit Beach. Looks like we have a long beach break here. Interesting. Have to wonder if this produces decent waves. It's got a river mouth right here and a little wrap around. It looks like it would be set. Oh, looks like that river mouth I would be checking out for sure on a day with waves to see what happens. Okay. Crescent Beach. Interesting. Again, just open ocean right out from there. So interesting, just cove after cove after cove with rocky outcroppings. This is interesting. This is very interesting, especially for a novelty wave. Look at those ledges. Whoa, that's cool. Are those seals out there? Where's Mr. White Shark? Where is he? Plenty of places to stay, holy moly. Oh, looks like we got a little bit more swell in these next shots. Was like that. Hmm. Not bad. I mean, look at the size of the house and look at the wave. It's actually probably rideable. All right, here we've got the inlet. So this is where we'd expect to see surfers, I would say. And you'd see people on the beach. I don't see anybody out surfing. Nothing on that side. How about this side? Maybe there's a favorable side. No surfers, but it looks like the crystal clear water. Looks very interesting, actually, especially how this wave is setting up on the outside. What is this? Wells Harbor. Very, very interesting. Beach break. Little spits of rock. It looks like large kind of rocks on the beach. 
which is very interesting to me, very interesting, because that can create some of the best point break possibilities. And I mean, look at this. Left? Whoa. River mouth. Nobody on it. Boy, these are lonely river mouths. <laughs> oh, for sure. You go out there surfing alone. My time surfing in New England, you might think like, oh, wow, all these secret spots, you know, and it's like, yeah, not so secret. You'd be happy to have a little company out here on a lot of the days uh, just because it is probably rarely surfed any time other than the summer oh look at that oh, Parsons Beach Road looks like a chunky beach break now we got swell coming in look at this river mouth what look. quiet beach with birds and seals ah the seals you see once you have the seals barking around and swimming around you know what's around there also swimming in the depths that dark water right off the beach but that does look like a good spot mother's beach look at how cool this is that you could spend months just exploring this ah kenny bunk okay so now we're at kenny bunk port i've been to kenny bunk port and did see waves at this beach here, Gooch's Beach. We did see waves. There was actually metered parking all along here, these little spots on Beach Ave. But uh, in the summertime, it, it is so hard to find a parking space here because it's so limited. I'm sure you don't have that problem in December. Look at that. Gooch's Beach right next to the inlet there. And uh, kind of hard to tell if it has a favorable spot for surfing. But I see some surfers out there, so I'm going to say yes. There's three surfers in this shot. Surfing in the middle of Gooch's Beach. Okay. And then we get into these lonely, rocky point breaks, which to me, this does not look surfable. But let me know if I'm just skipping by some epic spot. I'd look for little spots here where the whitewater might indicate something, but... Yeah, you gotta wonder. There's a lot of structure here. This is a windy day, so I'm sure on certain days there's possibilities. How you would get to these spots? Now you're talking really remote, remote access. And it looks like you you don't really get back into the uh, into the game until you get past Kenny Bunkport. Just lots of Lots of rocky outcroppings kind of blocking the beach. Perhaps. I wonder if you got really focused swell, if you could, if it sneaks in these spots. And here we are at Fortune's Rocks Beach. Looks like plenty of waves there. Also looks like there's people out surfing, so. Looks like there's a fair amount of quality, quality beach break happening. Oh, wow. That's interesting how the coast takes a little turn there. See if we find any way out surfing this little spot. No, no. But again, probably hard to get to the beach here. If you look at this, I don't see anywhere to get on. the. Ah, oh, here's public beach parking lot. Bidford Pool public beach parking lot. So I suppose you could park there and get to this spot. Oh, look, it really hooks in there, the coast. Very interesting. Looks like huge jetties. Holy moly. Interesting. I don't know if this gets swell, but this is really an interesting underwater structure. If they get swell in there, that could be very interesting. I wonder if they do. They've got two islands out here, Ram Island and Eagle Island. Sometimes that could cause a refracto. Camp Ellis Beach. Very curious about Camp Ellis Beach. Looks like they've got the rocks built up here to stop the erosion, but then the beach continues along. On this day, no swell, but who knows? This could be a great spot. It looks like it's a long, extended beach break. 
Ah, yes, it has some interesting sand structures. Now, I can just imagine on small days how good this must be when they have glassy, small, lined up swell. There's an observation deck, how you would get to this spot. Looks like there might be some back roads and places you could park up in the hood there. That's really interesting. Look at how that swell bends in on these sandbars. That's really cool, and really, to me, an indication of the possibility there. Places to stay in this little town? Let's see. Let's see if we can figure out. Ocean Park, Maine. Yes, plenty of places to stay. Again, more swell, smaller swell day, but you can see this whole area, this whole like almost cove-like structure here has plenty of places to stay, plenty of places to park, and a wide open swell window. Look, Okay, so on this day, it looks like the swell was coming in a little bit more from the south. And you can see it starts to get better. So I bet you this beach break holds swell all throughout. Ooh, that's interesting. The jetty, very interesting. And of course, we've got this other rocky outcropping. Always looking for the secret cove. Boy, does that water look dark and scary. Holy moly. Wow, ultra remote. It's the state beach with lifeguards. Scarborough Beach, yes, yeah, Scarborough. Interesting. Looks like we've got potentially some little spots in here. I would not be surprised to see people surfing. Oh yes, there's a longboard. A lot of longboarders it seems like. A lot of long or at least that's what I'm able to see. I'm really interested by that. Little town of Higgins Beach. That looks like an interesting spot to check out too. And how much of the coastline have we traversed at this point? Let's see. Maine goes pretty far up there. We're not even halfway. Not even halfway. That is so cool. Wow, I'm intrigued by that particular spot. It looks like just a lot of rocky outcroppings, but cool parks. Parks everywhere. It's very interesting geologic. Look at how these outcroppings just stick out. You wonder if those produce any wave possibilities if you had a you know, hard north, but you really don't have much of an open swell window there, which makes me think it's probably not. But even if you got a corner, you know, on one of these things, there might be wave possibilities. And unfortunately, the the swell in all these pictures is non-existent, so you really get no indication. But you start to see things like this. Whaleback Ledge. All kinds of little spots that have potential, maybe. And you have access to them by roads here. So, Peaks Island. Oh, how do you get to Peaks Island? Well, looks like you take a ferry from Portland. Wow, that's incredible. I wonder if there's surf on Peaks Island. That would be like one of the most amazing, cool little surf trips to take. Got to wonder, don't you? Ferries out to all these little islands here. Mostly blocked, though, I bet, by these outer islands. Look for the ferry opportunities. That's where the surf trips really get incredible. And it looks like there's a fair amount of ferries. But to get ferries out to these far out islands, not sure. Oh, you can get to this one through land. So, okay. Very interesting. This is, for me, the kind of place you want to stay, right out on the end of one of these places in some remote spot. It's just incredible to even be near. 
Seal Cove. Okay, so we're looking in again to see if we have any obvious little spots, but what's obvious is there are so many spots. Wow, look at those waves. Where is this? Small Point Beach. Gotta wonder about that, don't you? Look at the way those waves hinge in like that. Fox Islands. Ooh, this looks like spooky water. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Hun Honeywell Beach. Looks like a lot of islands blocking swell here. Head to the other side. Ooh, remote rocky beaches. Remote sandy beaches. Cliffs Loop Road looks like it goes up above massive cliffs. Todd's Point, interesting. Little River Ledges, I like the name. Wow. You know, Northern California has nothing on this. This is incredible. Basking and swimming, yeah. Bird watching, picnicking, hiking. Sheepscot River, okay. So the Sheepscot River then comes down this way, and this is looks like the whole coast kind of juts out. I'd be curious to know if there's any places that would pick up a south swell here. So I'm looking at these points, but you, you know, you just never know. But chances are, all this stuff is blocked. Would be my guess. Very, very rocky. And then we have so many outer islands. It almost seems like at this point the coast becomes so remote that it's hard to conceptualize and, and so complex that it's hard to conceptualize. There are places out here like Mantinicus Island, Mantinicus Island. They must be like alien worlds. It's just incredible, but at this point, the main coastline almost becomes more than you can comprehend just because of the complexity of the islands, the remoteness. From a surfing perspective, it must be incredible to live in Maine and like adventure and just explore. Looking over this coastline is making me want to go to Maine more than ever. <laughs> and uh, you know, would I go eat at the pickle the, at the pickled wrinkle? Uh, yeah, I, I probably would. The, oh. Okay, shout out to the pickled wrinkle, for sure. That looks like a great spot. That's what I mean. You know, you can go to Disney World or you can go to the to the Pickled Wrinkle. Places like that in small towns that are just the real America, really, when you think about it. You know, when you scan up, you don't see a name on Google Maps. That is the, um, that is the real deal. There's Main Street, USA, folks. Golly, can you imagine? Look at this. Can you imagine growing up there and walking these beaches as a kid? It's so amazing. I'm blown away. I just thought I was going to make a dumb YouTube video, but this is really cool. Let me know down in the comments, too, what you think for sure. Yeah, and it just it stays like that. And it looks like, oh, can you get out onto this? Oh, it looks like it is possible to drive from Jonesport all the way out to Great Wasp Island Preserve and but then they don't have roads that reach the other side of the island. If you're rocking it on Pond Point, you are in a truly remote place, I'll tell you that much for sure. Sealand, Rogue Bluffs. I don't see anywhere that you could feasibly get to. Maybe I'll cover it in future videos. By the way, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like these kinds of videos. Look at this. Cutler. 
East Neville Preserve Trail. These are the types of spots, folks, where you just never know. You just never know. Where there could be a swell sneaking in. I mean, that, that spot is blocked, though, looks like mostly by this whole island. And this, and by Nova Scotia. Yeah, so now what you get is the last of the swell possibilities, the very last. And of course, in this Google Maps, it looks like there's not much swell here, but you know, potentially swell, southern exposure here. I don't know if that's, that's not the United States, looks like that's Canada, so that's all she wrote, folks. Now, although I'm sure the surf possibility is next to zero here, the Look at that. Quaddy House, Lubbock, Maine. Iconic maritime landmark. Yeah, just, you know, potentially some of the coolest places in all of North America, as far as I can tell. So, so very interesting. So, if you enjoyed this video uh, and would like to see more, please subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll be notified as new live streams and content come out all the time. I like novelty adventure and those kinds of things in surfing. If you do too, I hope we will see you back and thanks for watching. Surf all day, A1A.